as you know Apple today released iOS 6 so as a result I wanted to go ahead and go over some of the features Apple has added a new feature here called panorama mode go into options you can see here you have the option for a panorama picture and when this pops up what you're going to do is move your phone from the left to the right and capture a panoramic image and the iPhone is going to then take those images and those frames and put them together interlace them and create a panoramic image for you go to settings you'll see the do not disturb tab here now so the do not disturb button uh, that is now included in the user interface and the settings is now able to be toggled on and off next we also have Twitter integrated into our notification center so this is Apple's turn by turn navigation now you can see here that we have a map here which is currently in 3D you can see when I move around that it does show uh, the streets and uh, certain landmarks in 3D and come down here and turn it back to 2D so you can type an address here up at the top we also have a bookmark um, where we can bookmark locations that we have been and that we want to keep and here we have a option for turn by turn directions and down here at the bottom is where we go back to finding ourselves on the map if we ever um, are in need of finding our location so go ahead and flip up once again you can see uh, we can add a drop pin to our location we can print out our location from a printer uh, we can show traffic in our localized area as well as standard hybrid and satellite images we also have FaceTime over 4G the next up here we have passbook down in the corner boarding pass now you're going to get it digitally you're going to be able to scan that over uh, at the airport and make your way to your flight so now Siri is out of beta and we can officially ask Siri some more questions that uh, Siri was not currently able to answer including sports questions so let's go ahead and ask Siri a sports question now Did the Raiders win yesterday? The Raiders were crushed by the Dolphins last Sunday. The final score was 35 to 13. So as you can see, Siri even added a little bit of humor there. And she put the Raiders were crushed by the Dolphins last Sunday. The final score was 35 to 13. I didn't have to repeat myself. Um, Siri caught on very well to my speech. Uh, recognized what I was saying and gathered the information for me and brought it up very smoothly. Now one thing I didn't like and it's probably my only complaint in iOS 6 is that they did remove the native YouTube app. You can see I've already downloaded the YouTube app that is currently in the application store. So now we have more share options on your photos. You can go ahead and tap the uh, screen, go down here to your sharing options and you can see it's more like a folder option now we have the option now to either email it, uh, send it via a text message, send it via photo stream, send it through Twitter, through Facebook. We can assign it to a contact. We can print it via a printer. We can also copy this uh, picture as well, or we can use it as a wallpaper, which I think are very nice options that Apple included here in the iOS 6 platform. We do have a new look, completely redesigned look to the App Store which uh, I think looks very nice. Uh, they redesigned the icons. iOS 6, what Apple has done is when you search for an application, the application you typed in first will show up. It'll also give you an option down here of how many applications are related. So we can swipe over here and you can see I have find my friend, find my kids, where is my friend, and a bunch of different related applications all in a book style platform so rather than a vertical scroll we have a horizontal scroll now and I think it looks a lot cleaner in my opinion so now we have a VIP list in our email client mailbox what this is going to do is let us quickly access mail from important people that you have added into your VIP list anyways guys I just wanted to give you a quick tour of some of the features in iOS 6 there's plenty more to show However, I don't have time to cover all of them. I just wanted to give you a quick update. I hope you guys appreciated the content. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, please be sure to share this video with a friend. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet done so. That way you will be notified of the unboxing of the iPhone 5 as well as the winner of the giveaway of the iPhone 5. 
If you guys have not yet joined the iPhone 5 giveaway, please be sure to do so. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys around the channel.